Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. We've got another viral videos compilation for you again today and I can tell you straight up it has been kicking off in the shark world at the moment. But before that though, I really need some help from any plant lovers out there. The two Shark Bites IVs that are sat behind me are really, really struggling and I feel like I'm massively letting down my fellow millennials at struggling to look after them. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I'm really struggling with these plants. Please can somebody help me? And before any of you suggest, yes, I have been watering them. Anyway, back to today. We've got mating tiger sharks, motorway sharks, and even a manta ray photobomber. So let's not waste any time and check them out. Up first, we've got some awesome underwater ROV footage from the North Sea uploaded by Saltwater Life. The ROV footage, which stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle, appears to have captured a poor beagle shark on their footage. Swimming at a depth of around 110 meters, this poor beagle shark passes the ROV a couple of times before swimming off into the darkness. Poor beagles, which are a close relative of the great white shark, aren't uncommon in the waters surrounding the UK. However, they are painfully shy, so you'd be extremely lucky to spot one in the water. One way we can definitely tell it's a poor beagle shark is due to that very characteristic white notch on the rear side of the first dorsal fin. And this is a really helpful way to distinguish between the visually similar salmon shark and short fin mako. Over to Australia now where this fantastic clip of a bronze whaler shark was captured by Southwest Saltwater. The bronze whaler was spotted in an inlet known as Prawn Rock Channel in Denmark, a town in Western Australia. The species, also known as the copper shark, quietly cruises down the picturesque channel as the onlookers film in silence. What a stunning piece of footage that is, and I really, really wish I could have that as a moving screensaver on my phone. It's not uncommon for bronze whalers to end up in river and estuarine habitats, as like the bull shark, they're fairly tolerant of low and changing salinities. Authorities in the town, however, did close the waterway down for swimmers, as although not generally an aggressive shark, the bronze whaler has been responsible for a number of bites on humans down the years. Now, with this next clip, I've been harping on in a few Shark Bites episodes about how sharks feed on whale carcasses, but I've been quietly waiting in the background for some recent footage of this happening to hit the social media channels. Well, we finally got some. Uploaded by Outcast Charters in Massachusetts, America, in this video, which has gained nearly 150,000 views, we can see a pretty large whale carcass being completely chowed down on by a great white shark. I'm so glad we finally got some recent footage of this happening because it is such an incredible sight to see. Many shark species are scavengers and a free meal like this is usually not turned down by a hungry shark. So that clip was initially uploaded to social media on the 5th of March, but nearly three weeks later, we got some more footage on the 25th of March of a tiger shark doing exactly the same thing. I did read, however, in the last couple of weeks, the sharks have taken off enough meat and blubber from the whale carcass to cause it to sink from the surface. However, that whale is going to continue to feed a host of marine organisms, including sharks, for many, many weeks to come. Next up, we're heading over to Florida where we've got some more drone footage of sharks doing their thing. The footage uploaded by FAU Elasmo Lab taken just north of Miami shows a pretty large northbound hammerhead cruising directly towards a southbound shoal of blacktip sharks. Upon realizing there's a hammerhead coming their way, the blacktips quickly dart out of the way to safety. This is such a cool natural predator-prey interaction to capture on film. Hammerheads are known to prey upon blacktip sharks in these waters, particularly during the blacktip migration in Florida, which happens between the months of January and April. And it's during these times, blacktips can be spotted in their thousands, mere meters from the shore. I think what's most cool about this clip though, is that you can see the blacktips intentionally heading for the shallow waters on the left-hand side, as opposed to the deeper waters on the right. Blacktips being considerably smaller than hammerhead sharks can refuge in these safer, shallower waters and avoid being the next meal for a hammerhead shark. Awesome. Staying in Florida up next, we've got this once in a lifetime photo for a very lucky surfer. This photograph that went viral last month, taken by Rusty a Scandal, shows a manta ray photobombing this completely oblivious surfer. While taking photos, Rusty says he initially noticed a splash in the background, but didn't think much of it at the time, expecting it to be a fish. And it was only until he got home later and checked the photos that he realized what he had captured. Urban manta rays are common visitors off the beaches of Southeast Florida, and it's thought that these waters could potentially be nursery grounds for the species. Scientists aren't 100% sure why manta rays breach like this. There's been some suggestion that it could help remove annoying parasites like remoras from their underbellies. Others have suggested that the manta rays could simply just be doing this because it's fun. I really hope that surfer has that photo now as his cover photo on Facebook. What a picture. 
Florida really has been providing us with some epic shark encounters over the last month and we're staying there now with this next clip of a shark and an alligator doing their best Bonnie and Clyde impression. The video taken in Vero Beach by Gray Vincent shows an alligator cruising down a waterway and on the left hand side there appears to be a small shark species comfortably keeping pace with a freshwater reptile. I absolutely love this video and there's been a few people online suggesting that these two get their own action adventure cartoon series which I 100% endorse. It's not been confirmed yet what species of shark this is but based on the location I'd hedge my bets and say this is a juvenile bull shark. These two species are generally not seen so close to each other as alligators will quite comfortably attack and kill shark species and this has been seen on a number of occasions in the past. Brutal. Over to the Philippines now where a very lucky scuba diver has captured an incredibly rare shark behavior on film. The footage taken by David Choi in Tubataha Natural Marine Park in the Philippines shows two tiger sharks in the midst of a mating ritual. Although taken at distance, we can clearly see the two sharks locked together as the male attempts to bite and wrestle the female into position. Shark mating is an incredibly rare thing to witness, let alone capture on film, and I think this could potentially be the first time tiger sharks have ever been caught doing this on camera. There is still so much we don't know about shark reproduction and shark mating, so footage like this can be extremely helpful in furthering our understanding of shark species. So props to you, David. And finally, back across to America now for probably some of the weirdest shark footage I have ever seen. The footage uploaded by Julie Kang to TikTok, where it has gained over 7.6 million views, shows a tank on the back of a lorry driving down the motorway in Baltimore. Upon closer inspection, we can see from a small window in that tank that it clearly has at least two sharks inside. <laughs> what? This is 100% not what anyone would be expecting to see on their daily commute to work. <laughs> so if you're wondering what the hell is going on here, have you ever thought to yourselves, how do sharks get from the sea to inland aquariums? Well, this is how. From the video, I can't quite tell what species of sharks these are. I'd make a rough guess probably at sandbar shark, which is an appropriate species for aquariums, but without seeing the dorsal fin, I can't be sure. And if you're wondering whether it's okay to keep sharks in aquariums, we actually did do a video on this back in season one of Shark Bites. So if you click this link here, you can go and give that a watch. That's all we've got for you today in this viral videos compilation. But before you head off, make sure you let me know what your favorite viral video was today in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.